Hey, what's up guys, Patrick, and those guys sound like it cold. Do not bring any items, and go to Arenardi Zoo, circle in yellow on this map. When you get here, talk to Chuck, and select the options on the screen. Wake up one of the seals to southwest and select the options run on screen. Go to your emotes, do jump for joy, ask him what's wrong with penguins, and ignore remaining chat options. Click on the boat to northeast and say yes. Talk to Ping and Pong to get some items. Head northeast to find Jim, right click him, and choose tuxedo time. Go to the northwest corner and investigate the avalanche to get inside. Go to the end of the hallway and talk to the KGP agent to the west. Go into room to the east and somewhere along the west wall uh, you'll find a workbench. Click on the workbench and say yes to make the costumes. On the west side of the giant door, uh, there's a big button that you can push to get through. After you get through, go back to Ping and Pong. Talk to Ping and Pong to give them the costumes. Head northeast to find Jim, right click him, and choose tuxedo time. Click on the boat to southwest and say yes. Go southwest and talk to Ping and Pong to get a cutscene. After the cutscene, select the options run on screen. You then get access to a bank deposit interface. Use that to bank everything you have. Then talk to Sale again and say yes. Talk to Tay the Polar Bear. Go north and talk to Larry. Talk to Tay the Polar Bear. Go south to the main gate and talk to Noodle. Try to enter the building to the east. Take the band box to the west and say yes. The purpose of this activity is to make as much noise as possible. And the way you do that is by clicking on Teddy, Bouncer Seal, Ping and Pong. 
First time you click on them, a blue and orange bar will appear above their heads. You need to make the bar as blue as possible by clicking on them multiple times. It does decrease over time, so you have to keep clicking on them. And do this until you get a cutscene. It'll take you about a minute. After the cutscene, enter building to southeast and steal from the table to get an egg. Go north and talk to Larry. Talk to Tay the polar bear. There are six penguins that have no names. They're just called penguins. Talk to all six. Four of them can be found in the main open area right here, and the last two are the two yellow dots north of Larry. Talk to Tay the polar bear. Go east, talk to Penguin named Plaza, ignore chat options. Head to the fishing hole in the northeast corner. Fish in the fishing hole until you get a squid and a shark tooth. Go southeast to the area between two buildings and take a board from the wood scrap pile. Head inside the building to the south and search the shelves in the northeast corner to get olive oil, cube of sugar, a popsicle tray, and a carving hammer. Right click Teddy, choose tear off to get a cloth. Go inside the building in the southwest corner. Search the shelves in the northwest corner to get a bottle of lye. Use the lye and the olive oil to make soap. Use the soap on the popsicle tray. Then use the squid on the popsicle tray. Use the rock carving hammer on the soap to make game pieces. Finally use the cloth on the board to make... Go east. Talk to the penguin named Plaza. Ignore chat options. Talk to Tay the polar bear. Close out the interface, finish the conversation, go east, and talk to the walrus named Astoria and say yes. Click and drag the fish to arrange them on the board. You can rotate them using the arrow. Um, you can arrange them any way you want, just don't put them too close to each other. When you're done, click accept. Now you have to play a game called Battlefish. If you ever played Battleship before, that's basically what this game is, except instead of ships, they use fish. If you've never played it before, I'll explain. So you know how you just had to arrange your fish on the board? Your opponent did something similar, and the idea is to find where that he put them and destroy them, but it's a guessing game. You're allowed to hit one square per turn. If it missed, the hit marker will be white. If it hit, the hit marker will be red. Each fish is about three to four squares long, and you have to hit every square to destroy it. So if you get a red hit marker, you have to hit the surrounding area to locate the rest of it. When it's finally destroyed, a chat box will pop up, and one of the fish in the top right will turn red. You need to destroy all four of his fish before he destroys yours to win. I don't know if the solution is the same for everyone, but this is what I got if you want to try it. Uh, just try hitting the same spots as the red hit markers on my screen. Enter the building to the south, and search the circus props to take them. Talk to Tay the polar bear. Follow the instructions when on screen. Talk to Tay the polar bear.
after the cutscene, don't pick any chapters yet. I need to explain what to do first. You have to play another game of Battlefish, but it's slightly more complicated this time. Uh, you might notice there's a chart in the background. The only important thing on there is your health, which is at the top. Think of it as a timer because it'll go down over time, and if it runs out, you basically lose. If you lose, you have to go back to the seal near Ralka, talk to him, then talk to Teddy or reset the game. Um, the two ways you can keep your health up. Your opponent has three fishes that you have to take out. Each one you take out will restore some health. And the second way is you have to close out of the interface, click on the NPCs around you to repair parts of the ship, which is what all the other things in the chart is about. But the game doesn't pause. So to get back to it, you have to go into a room to the west and look into the scope. And also you can't spend too much time repairing parts of the ship. I'm sure all that sounds really annoying. Well, that's because it is. But luckily you might not have to do it if you can finish the game fast enough. So once again, this is the solution I had. Um, you can try it if you want. Just hit the red hit markers on my screen. If it works, you can definitely finish the game before the ship breaks down. But if it doesn't work, it means you probably have to constantly repair the ship. So anyways, if you're ready, select the chapter that says, No, I know what needs to be done. And you'll begin the game. After the game, you get a conversation and a cutscene. But once that's over, that'll be on the quest. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later. Peace.